they may give you pleasure for their death many have substituted substitute their consecration many they have substituted their vow to the Lord what would they come of you What will become of you? You don't know the bar. If the Savior should come now, will you go with him? Are you ready to meet the Lord? Are you prepared to meet him? This is not a joke. Are you ready to meet the Lord? 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 Up or cut off. Yalla kori jakule abikia tansoke. Maybe that those things you love and those things are not pleasable in the, in the sight of God. You can't take away those things from me. I will not allow me to please God this year. For in Jesus' name we are free. Let be seated. We are in the session of Him. If I have deeper life in him, you can open to him for the seven. Just obey. Just as God who raised on high, spake to men in days gone by. So the Lord is only men today. And my brother, this is true. And whatsoever he says to you, there is but one thing to do. Just obey. Just obey. Just obey. Is the way God's way. When his message comes to you, there is but one thing to do. Just obey. Just obey. I will be calling it. You will be singing it. Just as God who reigns on earth. Just as God who reigns on high. Speak to me in days gone by. So the Lord is calling men today. So the Lord is calling men calling men today. And my brother, this is true. And my brother, this what is true. He says what so air he says there is to but you. One thing to there do. is but one thing to Just do. Obey. Just obey. Just obey. Just obey. Just obey. Just obey. Is the way. Is the way. God's way. God's way. Let His message comes to you. When His message comes yeah, to you, there is but one there thing to do. Just one thing to do. Just obey. Just obey. Just obey. Just obey. If you are in the Savior's hands, if you're in the Savior's you hands, you must do as He commands. You must do as He for there is no other gospel way. There is no other gospel way. Never put the message by. Never put the message by. Never stop by. to reason. Never why. stop to reason. When the why. Savior speaks to when you, when the Savior speaks to you, just obey. Just obey. Just obey. Just obey. Just obey. Just obey. Is the way. Is the way. God's way. God's way. When His message comes to you. When His message comes to there you. Is but one there thing is but one thing to do. Just obey. Just obey. Just obey. Just obey. If for mansions fair you sign, if for mansions fair you sign, in that land beyond the sky, in that land beyond the sky.
beyond I the sky. I'm with you. I'm as the fast away. I'm with you. As fast away. Though the way you may not see. Though the way you may Christ not is see. Calling, Christ me. is calling for me. Faith and duty both with and duty both with Christ. Just obey. 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 Is the way. Is the way. God's way. God's way. When His message comes to you. When His message comes to you. What one there thing is what one thing to do. Just obey. Just obey, just obey, just obey. Let us start on our feet. This is time that we are waiting for. Let us close our eyes and say, Lord, speak to me this hour. Father, speak to me and give me grace to obey your word. Father, speak to me this hour. And give me grace to obey your word. Praise the name of Jesus. I want to put up that very well. Oh Lord, speak to me. I am ready to hear from you, Lord. Speak to me, O Lord. And give me the grace to obey your word. Give me the grace to be true of your word. Oh Lord, speak to me. Jesus name we are praying. I want us to sing this song. I have made up my mind to serve the Lord. I have made up my mind, made up my mind to serve the Lord. Have you made up your mind? I have made up my mind to serve the Lord. Oh, oh, I have made up my mind, made up my mind to serve the Lord. Have you made up your mind? I have made up my mind. I have made up my mind, made up my mind. Almighty God, we bless you. We appreciate you for this evening Bible study. I will bless you for what you have proposed to do in our life through this program. We say be thou exalted in the name of Jesus. Lord, we are praying that today you will open our eyes. Holy Spirit, you are the teacher. Teach us by yourself in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, because of God. In Jesus' name, we are praying.
let your amen be louder. Take care, me let us see okay. You are not saying a louder amen. Oh, so I'm not lost okay. If you are saying amen, say an amen like a believer. Oh, bang, so I'm in, so I'm in, you need that ball. You can be seated. Ali, Joko. This evening, we are talking about following Jesus without looking back. I'm sorry, but it's the late Jesus lie away. Following Jesus without looking back. It's the late Jesus lie away. We must understand that the call of God upon our life. I need to tell you, my baby, your Lord will worry you ever. It's not to walk with the Lord for a season. The call of God upon our life. It's not to walk with God for a short time. Because when we entered into covenant with the Lord. We enter into a lifetime covenant. And the covenant with Jesus Christ at Calvary must continue. But we will look at our days. It is no longer new to us to see people going back to the world. Because they follow Jesus for a while. And that is not the expectation of God. God expects us to walk with him. Till we enter the kingdom of God. But a lot of people, they walk with Jesus for two years. But they don't walk with Jesus for two years. And you know, the more you walk with Him, as you be at Him, Barry, the more you go to another level. Barry, I'm not sick, believe me, no. And new, new challenges. And confrontation are going to face. Ah, when you bend your knee, ati tu ti tu, ati do do kola o mari. And when some people want to get to a certain level of their life, ah, when me ni ba tu wa de kwele kwele no aye wa. And they see that the persecution is fierce. So what's the reply? Do you call your old life bad again? They saw that the challenges was fierce. So what's the reply? Do you call your new life bad? And it appeared to be unbearable. They have to break their covenant with the Lord. And they went back into the world. You will not go back. I say you will not go back. The Lord will uphold you. You will not go back in the name of Jesus. Following Jesus without looking back. It means there are some people that will walk with him and look back. There are some people that will walk with him and look back. There are some people that will walk and endure and endure until they hear welcome faithful servant and the worst thing that can happen to a man is to understand the new covenant to have enjoyed the grace of God and later go back because the consequences is alarming and very terrible. The worst thing that can happen to a Christian is to look back. To turn back towards a life of sin. After that he has found Christ to be Savior. It is one of the most miserable ways to live 
and can have a horrible consequences. Oh, jela na igwe aye to buru juti eni ale be. Yo si ne atu botu bu buru lori aye eni ya. Let's check the book of Luke chapter seventeen. Yeah, we will look or look at the logo. Luke seventeen verse thirty-two. We look or look at the logo. Luke seventeen. Luke seventeen. We look or look at the logo. Verse thirty-two. I said, "Get you the new new bond." The Bible says, "Remember, Lord's wife." Don't you say, "Ranti, I am Lord." Have you opened your Bible? Did she be very receptive? And let's read together. One to go. Ranti, I am Lord. When Jesus said, "Remember, Lord's wife," don't you say, "But just say, Ranti, I am Lord." Time will not permit him to go into details. Ah, koko ni koto lati losi nu i for a jump to roro. But people were there; they understood what happened to the wife of Lord. Because of what one day one man got to say, "Let's say I am Lord." So he just summarized it and said, "Remember Lord's wife." Over the konya koko kasa pe no eranti I am Lord. What happened to her? He lost his legacy. Because she looked back, Gloria oh, Bojuwayi, at the edge of escape. Ni ikpele gongo atisa sala. She almost escaped. Oh, atisa sala ta. What was done? Shuba amubale. So today we want to look at the life of Lord and his family as a case of study. Yes, sala ya fe wo igbe aye Lord ati idilere gege bi eh ohun e ko wa gagaga. And we going to apply it to our personal life. I want to be your pelu igbe aye ti ta wa na. And I pray that the Holy Spirit of God must be God why be me no Lord. We open our eyes. Yes, you are new. You are not saying it louder here. Oh, so I'm to love for you. A loud amen. Amen. Tell us, okay. Please do something about the mic. A loud amen. Amen. Tell us, okay. So our task is taken from the book of Genesis 19, verse verse um uh, one to twenty-nine. Amen. We be kick our last new way. Genesis only can continue. Go. Last year, second day. Genesis chapter nineteen, from verse one. To twenty-nine. We Genesis only can continue going. As a community today, as a can continue up on. To summarize what is written there, let the cup of bomb that cause even here. We are still going to read it by the grace of God. I will see my card. This is a story of Lot and his family. The Yijay is on Lot. He has been delayed. They had been staying with Abraham. What in Abraham will be? But suddenly there was a crisis between them. So boy, go look who must come along here. So they had to be separated. One last prayer. And Abraham told Lot. Abraham is of Lot. Choose anywhere you like. Yeah, if you do bad thing. To the east, west, north, and south. La riwa gusu yewa abila oni if you do bad thing benya. If you face this direction, go by your be. I will choose the other direction. And the Bible says, "The Lord pitch his tent near Sodom." Lord, he called Atibaba to see if it's Sodom. Sodom was known to be a city of pleasure. Sodom was a lu affair at the garden. Sodom was known to be a city of immorality. Ah, Sodom was a lu affair at the garden. Sodom was known to be a city of immorality. There are a lot of profit that can be made in the land of Sodom. But they have terrible consequences attached to it. So Lord pitched his tent near Sodom. So Lord, Lord, rather, Lord, O Kailere, small Sodom. And the next thing we saw was that. Lord was already in Sodom. Ah, wow, wow, the best. Lord, it's what one knows. Sodom, Lord. 
and that shows us hey, you have that backsliding begin little by little a man does not just backslide immediately it's begin little by little when i look at the life of lord a little shift near sodom before you know what was going on, do you know that if I'm counting my feet like this, and I wait, and I went again, I wait, I will reach this place. That was the case of Lord. He moved gradually. He moved gradually. One day he said, Let's enter the city. Here. Because there is much, much thing there. He entered there with his entire family. With all the goods, everything. As we continue to study, we will know the consequences of that. As a Christian, don't go back to them because going back into iniquity will lead you to the realm of devastation going back into what you have left is going to disconnect you from God so it is vitally important what we are expected is to keep on looking for. And that characterized the life of Stephen. He kept on looking. Even in the face of death. Even when they stone him. He looked up. He said, Behold, I saw the Son of God standing. He kept on looking. Looking. And looking. Until when he saw Jesus. We have to look forward to where we are heading to. And the saddest stories in the Bible. Are those of individuals who turn back. Who turn away from God. Such as people as King Saul. I won't be about Saul. He started well. Did great for God. But he ended badly. What about lost wife? I am in God. The angels, you know, rescued them from that land. I want Angeli, want and charge them never to look back. What is up when we more where you? But she looked back. She go one way. What about Judas Iscariot? About why Judas Iscariot too? She ate with the Lord. Oh, Paul, who are there? She was among those that came to give and, and give testimony. Oh, wow, Lord, I want to watch Jerry. That even demons bow. Ah, bow, bow. When me and you fall in battle, you want to do one? And Jesus said, "Yes, one we pray." I saw Satan falling. As a lightning from heaven. But he warned them. Don't rejoice because unclean spirit obey you. Because you are able to cast out demons. But rather rejoice. Because your names are written in the book of life. It was pointing to <laughs> Mr. Joseph, Mr. Judas. In fact, there is a place the Bible says he was saying that because he was a thief. And he was working with the Lord. What about the co workers of Paul the Apostle, Demas? Demas had to work with one of the great apostles of the Lord. Demas in your of a lot of apostles, it told you, it told Labra, you know, I want apostles. He ministered together with Paul the Apostle. Oh, Paul the Apostle, he said, I said, Papa. But the Bible says, Probably we pray. Demas has gone back. Demas did for you and you. Having loving this 
present evil world. And according to the scholars, the Puritans, they said he became a priest in the temple of idol. A man that was working with Paul the Apostle. That will not be the Lord. You're not saying anything. I've heard of pastors in one of the Holy Pentecostal Church in Nigeria that became herbalist man. And a woman that is a chronic holiness believer that become a Yaoshu. And don't, don't ever say that you are too big to look back. To fall is very easy. You must be careful. None of us will look back. And we saw that young prophet in the Bible. The untamed prophet. That disobeyed the voice of God. And he was killed by a lion for it. And even the wife of Osea turned back and went back into the world. There are a lot of people even under the ministry of Christ. In John chapter 6, verse 66, the Bible says, From this time, many of his disciples they turned back and no longer follow him. Many upon, many upon, and Jesus looked at the twelve. and said, "Will you also go away?" In there, and you know, you lock all of them. Maybe I thought Jesus would be begging them. I said, "Jesus, I'm a bear. You have left me. Don't go. And you know, my Lord. No. If you are afraid." Of losing men, you will lose God. Dig at it. If you are afraid of losing men, you will lose God. What's not afraid? He look at them and say, Will you also go away? And Peter said to whom shall we go? Peter Peter we have left all and we follow you and Jesus said well they are saying even though one of you is a devil I will not fulfill bad for prophecy so Jesus said of Judas that it would have been better to have not been born than to have turned away from Christ and in Proverbs 26 verse 11 let's read it Proverbs 26 verse 11 Bible says, as a dog returned to his vomit, so a fool returned to his what? To his folly. As a matter of fact, the day you carry that cross, you have entered into combat with Satan. Because the devil is not ready to lose you. He has vowed to make sure that at the end of your life you are damned. The devil will not just release you. That day at Calvary, Calvary, that your sins was washed away, see, that your sin was cleansed, see, that we were justified by the grace of the Lord, see, and saved by the grace of God. That day, the devil fell, Satan, I will get him back. And the devil, Satan, 
We do everything as much as possible to get you look back. But don't return your vomit. You must follow Jesus without looking back. The Bible teaches us that to turn back to sin is to lose the life God has chosen for us. Claude has chosen for us to live in the newness of life. And the moment we choose to look back to the sins we have left, we are inviting the devil to come back and be owners of our lives. You will be tempted to look back. Oh, don't let it worry you. If I said, don't worry, when you have come to Christ, there will not be any problem. Everything will be all right. It's a lie. Being bowed for a week, be about to watch out of Christy. Oh, go for the turning yet. Go sick and come on in Ramon Pafo. The devil will do everything as much as possible. That time, you're showing the bottom of the world. He will use his, you know. All his strength and all his power to make sure that you are back. See, in my experience, after I gave my life to Christ, I had some dreams that I, I didn't I didn't used to have it when I was in the world. And sometimes it used to discourage me. But I know it was an assault from the devil to get me look back. We will not look back. You are not seeing a lover. So we will look at the life of Saul, of, of Lot. There are a lot of compromising in his life. A lot of compromise. Number one, in the area of his choice. If you don't want to look back, you must be watchful over your choice. That book of Genesis 19 1 to 5. Genesis 19 1 to 5. Genesis. 19, 19. Okay. Genesis, one to five. And there came two angels to Sodom at at Eve, and Lord sat in the gate of Sodom, and Lord, can you see that? He sat at where? The gate of Sodom, and Lord, seeing them, rose up to meet them, and he bowed himself with his face towards the ground, and he said, Behold, behold now, my Lord, turn in, I pray you, into your servant house, and tarry all night, and wash your feet. And you shall rise up early and go on your way. And they said, Nay, or we abide in the street all night. And he pressed upon them greatly. And they turned in unto him and entered into his house. And they made them a feast and did bake on living bread. And they did eat. But before they lay down, the men of the city of the men of the city, even the men of Sodom, composed the house round, round, both old and young, all the people from every quarter and they called unto Lord and said unto him where are the men which came which came in to thee this night bring them out unto us that we may know them I want angel to make this one see Sodom Lee and Salel Lord is the joke of Lee and over the Sodom the Lord is the city one oh the day let it for day one oh see do you bowl them oh see do you bowl Oh, see, we pay here. See, this is ye, and you lua me, a me penny, a ya, sile, or do, or more donny, key as you, key as you want, key as you were a senny, and ye, oh, see, did the nickel to go to key as you, ma, bat in your lump. What's it we pay? What's it we pay? No, she gone. I want all Japony, you borrow, Lee or Ru Onen, or see, or see, wrong one giddy giddy, what's it ya? Once he was in 
won si je eseke rin sugbon ki won ki o dubule awon okunrin ara ilu na awon okunrin sodomu won yi ile na ta ati agba ti ewe gbogbo eniyan lati ori igun mele mele rin wa eseke arun won si won si e lot won si bi pe ni bo le awon okunrin ti o to wa li aleyi wa mu won jade wa mu won jade wa wa ki awa ki o le mo won lot was a man that wanted a lot lot was a man that wanted a lot lot je okunrin kan ti o fe opolopo nkan and that is the foundation of backsliding e yi si je ipele ati ibere peida i want a lot of money mo fe opolopo wo i want a lot of house mo fe opolopo ile I want a lot of cars. I want a lot of properties. I, have a lot, I want a lot, a lot, a lot of this, a lot of that. Because it was that desire for a lot that push him into the land of Sodom. He made foolish decisions. He took the best land from Abraham. And this was contrary to God's plan. He moved towards a big city called Sodom. A place that he did not belong to. And he later moved into Sodom. He went further and further away from God's land. Oh, this is what you this is what you go. Lara, it been all on. He even became a leadership in Sodom. Oh, what my dear, oh, that can you lose Sodom? Mm. Rather than to stay with God's people. Ah, to your country, you're going to be alone. You raised his family. Oh, we are going to live there. Where he could get most of the of the things of the world. Oh, if you take away your theory, I won't cry yet. And he put so little priority on the things of God. Oh, see what you want, little dear, move and walk out your lawn. But he did not move into Sodom overnight. You go and go and lose Sodom in your room. He did it as a gradual process. Oh, one, one, no, the Lord needs to change the little by little. Yeah, yeah. And that is the case of the backslider. Hey, you see, Jay, you go at it. You share your feelings. I'm going down. There was this story. It's on you, what? That happened in Florida. Two friends were walking together. And they go to a particular place. So the, the, the one at the front has already crossed the place. So the one at the back. Because it was moving slowly. He noticed that that place. Was getting sick. And before he knew what was going on, the sun has already reached his nail. So for him not to die, so his friend was looking for a wood. Because if he's not careful, himself will get sink into that pit. And both of them will die. As he was looking for what he will, you know, give his friend, so that he can draw him out, the sun cover him. And he died. But it was gradually. Gradually. That is what sin does. He sings a man gradually. Gradually. And if you're not being careful, when you are not spiritually strong, if you want to pull out a man that is spiritually drawn, drawn into sin, he can draw you down. He can pull you down. If you are not spiritually fit. So that was a case of Lord. So he did it as a gradual process. It was no. One bad choice after the other. A little, you know, moving close to the world, little by little. And 
I'm moving away from God's best plan. And each of his choice took him deeper and deeper into compromise. And Sodom influenced his life in a very terrible way. What should we learn from that? You must understand that those that look back, they have looked back many times before the final fall. Do you understand? Once in a while, once in a week, once in a month, once in a month, once in a day. But one day, Lord Jokan, suddenly, Lord USA, they just discover on why did you pay? they are down. It's just like when you're walking on the slippery ground. And you're not being careful. And you're just walking like this. You will fall. You will fall. Temptation has made this world to be a slippery world. And the choice of Lot gradually strengthen his ties with the world and lessen his connection with God's family found in Abraham. So the moment you choose the world as your friend, you have looked back. And looking back, we were It starts one day. And it begins from the heart. Every backstabbing begins from the heart. But the Lord is saying, Those that look back, those that draw back, they draw back into perdition. Don't look back. Yield not to temptation. Yielding is a sin. You will not yield this year. Let your amen be louder. Let that amen clarify. God has already declared his judgment upon Sodom. Unknowingly to Lot. When there was enjoying the pleasures, there was an increase, a lot of profits. But he did not know that God is looking at him and laughing. Because the day of reckoning was coming. And for that purpose, God sent his angels. I just imagine. Sodom has influenced the life of this man badly that he does not think right again. His daughters were virgin. And when those men came, they want to gang rape, you know, the angels. And the angels, they were not female. They were male. And the people that came, they were what? Eh? They were male. That is homosexuality. It started from the book of Genesis. So, Lord knew what they were requesting for. Say, okay. I have daughters. They are virgin. Let me give them to you. Do whatever you like with them. But as for the stranger that are with me, do not touch them. Just imagine such a foolish choice. Decision. Decision. 
in the name that is above every other name. Any choice that we attract God's word, you will not make it. Amen. Let your amen be loud. He found himself in that environment because he wants much. But he did not know that one day he will become a beggar. In containing a man in What you know how to eat most, that is what will keep you. Oh, it is what will keep you. Oh, it is what will keep you. There is one fish called Orofo fish. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Sorry for the English listeners. <laughs> Praise God. Hallelujah. Because, you know, by the grace of God, I was a fisher. In those years. And this particular fish was different. If you, if you caught the fish with hook and, the, and that fish survived, ah, it may be, maybe it did, maybe by a mistake. As in, I mean, I mean, they did not die. The fish did not die. It must be by mistake. Because the fish normally swallow the hook. And the bait together. So if you want to put the the the. Uh, the, uh, the, the hook so you have to pull out the levers as well and it will die so Lord won't mush Lord if he did not know that that is what will lead to the loss of all that he has worked for for his entire life he want much or fessy or he became a beggar or what the authority but through the mercy of god he was rescued but what about those men that went with him where are they do you know that he went he, he separated from uh, from Abraham because his men were having issue with Abraham. But they have seriously fall in love with Sodom. Despite the fact that the Lord was sending them to escape, they didn't even have any interest to leave. Even his sons in laws, they were just laughing at him. I want to fair, I want I want more God. So which means those that were with God's messenger. I want to have a look, you say to your lord. They may be they, they must be the one that must be rescued. Because the rot is already made ready. And despite the fact that it was the angels was running with them, telling them escape. Do you know that Lot was begging the angel? Let me go to Zua. Let me go to Zua. And in Hebrew language, it means. A little city. Understand? A close, a close by city. He's had to see Sodom. So that as he is in that in that city. He will be looking. What about my properties? I want to What about my properties? Because those things that were in Sodom, they are materials for burning. And he was running from Sodom, but his heart was, was in Sodom. And he was actually rescued because Abraham prayed for him. If not, so he will die with him. And when they escaped, his daughter gave him drum. 
alcohol. They came drunk and they, and they raped him. How did they got such ideas? From where? Eh? From Sodom. He went with huge numbers of people and came back with only himself and the daughter. Where are the ships? The ozen. The cow. The servants. The in-laws. Where are they? Eh? Everything was born to ashes. The journey of backsliding is terrible. It always leads into loss of life and destiny. And this is what the Lord is saying. I have not called you to serve me for a season. But you must follow me till the end. As a matter of fact, temptation will come. He done what you are to draw you back. Lati from Pada saying, the son will come. He done what you are because the devil wants you to look back. Let me tell you something. If the devil fail one thousand times, see Satan if I put that near back there, or or just if I see Satan if I put that near back there, or or just if I see Satan if I put that near back there, or or just if I see Satan if I the day he will say, at last I lost him. It is when you enter the kingdom of God. The devil will not get us. Let that amen be louder. The devil will not get Satan us. Let your amen carry for What must you have? Not to look back. Number one, count the cost of looking back. Do you know what that looking back costs lot? We on a lot. It cost him the loss of his family. It cost him the loss of his property. Oh no, son, go go and it cost him the loss of all his possessions. Oh, no, 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 no. He lost his illness. He lost his sheep. He lost his wife. He even lost his credibility. Because he was evil. Encouraging immorality. Oh, encouraging homosexuality. Oh, Jenny, to have by a bad if they could bear. Let me give you my daughter. Then free law, mommy, daddy. They are virgins. I want the animal. Can't the cost. Ta, oh, do you know? There is a song that says, When you come with me, have you counted the cost? If your soul should be lost, do you get the reward for your own? Even now it may be that the line you have crossed. Have you counted? 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 If you look back, you will lose the crown of life. If you look back, that book of Ezekiel, when a righteous man turned away from his righteousness, all the righteousness of his past shall be forgotten. Can't be cost. When you look back, because if you look back, among those 
that we sit beside Jesus on the throne. You will not be among them. Can the ghost? Count you no. If you look back, among those that we eat the fruit of life, Lara, I want you to so give you. You are not among them. Oh, she la ni wao. Count the cost. Now, I want you to know. Among those that we walk with Jesus in the streets of God, Lara, I want you to buy your tuning. Ni le wura. You won't be among them. Oh, ni she la ni wao. Count the cost. Now, I want you to know. The enjoyment. Ah, we got the glory. Oh, go now. That I'll be preparing stuff for you in the kingdom of God. This is all you stand to lose if you look back. I want to go to your padanure. It's your babo juwain. What about your destiny? And your more than one call. What about the plan of God for your life? Don't lose them at the expense of pleasure. Those that draw back. I want to The Bible says they draw back into perdition. Can't the cost of looking back. Ma, can't you know to What it will cost you? Can you know? Do you know? Enjoy more. There are some people now in eternity. I want to buy near here, here. They cost the day they gave birth to them. Because they look back. And we want to be Because they look back. So they want to do it. And there were some were saying, "I want me to be." Ha! Ah. The good old days. Ah, your joy is gone. It's all down. That I was born for God. That I go everywhere. Warning people of sin. Here I am in the same fire. I want people up. Because of money. Because of power. Because of quest for position. And the message. If you are not going to look back. Number two, I like it. Don't be afraid of losing me. Ma se peru, quick pa danu e nyo. Do you understand? Enjoy yo. Don't be afraid of what? Ma e se kini losing me. Pa danu lati pa danu peru lati pa danu e nyo. When you have made up your mind, si tori ti oba si kwa onkoleji. Enter the kingdom of God. That is what you are born. Some friends will leave you. I want or they can you feel that. Some co-workers will leave you. They will say your own is too much. And they may be playing a very, you know, important role in your life. And that has led to the compromise of many ministers. The person that is supporting the ministry financially does not believe in holiness. I want the ministers of God to adjust to his own level. And even threaten the ministers of God. Do you know how much I have been giving you to support your ministry? It's so so huge amount of money we are talking about. If you don't preach what I want, I will not support you again. And because of fear of losing men, if, uh, I I'm not you. losing God. I like, uh, like Padano alone. You change the message. Oh, 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 is there a message? Oh, you that. To please it. Lati, the penny alone. Magis. Lati, penny alone. Put all those ingredients into the message. Lati, if you are one man, give and one person, you say, no. People can clap, can clap. When you come out, you can clap. And scream. When you party, oh. And hail. When you party, oh. Even though they are on their way to hell. Oh, they come out alone, or someone are party. Don't be afraid of losing men. The very day you genuinely carry the cross, that day you start losing men. Some friends you are working with, you will stop working with 
No, they have been a, an old friend, but they are not born again. And they are not ready to be born again. Each time you go to them, what they say is, is, is immoral things. They always introduce you to do things that is against the will of God. You have to delete their contact. The man was telling me, a white man, the man of God, I'm afraid to share your message. I said, why? I said, because people are persecuting me. And most of the people who are persecuting me, they are helping me. I'm afraid of losing them. If I share your message, the help they are giving me, I want him a lot for me. They may not give me again. And the Lord dropped a scripture in my mind. He that loves anything more than me and does not carry his cross and follow me is not worthy to be my disciple. Don't be afraid of losing me. You will lose friends, neighbors, old best friends because they will contaminate they will contaminate your life. You have to stop your friendship with them. What is number one? What is number one? Eh? Number two. Don't. Number three. Be content with what you have. If you are not contented, you will look back. This is that I've been working with God for years. In fact, in our office, the Holy Sister. Or something happened. The boss has been you know, toasting her. Go out with me. Tell me I will give you whatever you want. Give you money, I will give you this. I will promote you. What she will always tell the boss. I can't do it. I'm a born again Christian. God is against that. But now, the mother was sick. Terribly sick. And they need 200,000 for the treatment of the mother. They have looked left and right, no money. And she thought within herself, This is a hard time to give up the profession. To give up the profession. The things she has dropped and left. Cherries and high heel and all those short skirts. Painting. She went back into there. And put it on so that you know she may seduce the boss so that the boss can give her the money. But when she got there. To a greater surprise, the boss has given his life to Christ. He got, she got there. I was telling the man what you told me in those other times. I'm not ready. Whatever you like, use my body to do. That one look at him and say, I can't do it. Because I have met Christ. Why do you have to give up your profession? Because of what you are going through. Why will you lose your soul at the expense of 200,000? I pray any situation that will take you away from Christ. You will overcome. I say you will overcome. Some challenges can be so powerful. That will seriously shake you. But number four. Determine. Never to look. 
When do you give you what? We, we, we have accept the faith before you accept the faith now. When did, when did you even accept the faith? That you are doing this. The pastor will use to discourage them from living a holy life. That's why they normally say, if your church cannot change you, change your church. Change it. If your church is killing you spiritually, and you are dying, each time you go to service, it's like you are in cemetery. Because they are full with God's anointing. You come out from the service empty. It's like there is something there that is drawing people of their spiritual strength. You will be attacked. Persecuted. But it's better you escape for your life. That for you to lose your soul. So you must determine. Determine. Never. To look back. I will not look back. It will, the challenges can be so terrible sometimes. Determine. Determination. Number five. Always ask the Lord to guide you in making choice and decision. Do what? Lord. This choice, is it according to your will? Before you go to men, go to God. Lord, am I making a right choice? I hope this choice will not bring a drastic effect on my relationship with you. So ask the Lord to guide you and to direct you. So that you will make the right choice. And lastly, before our, because of our time, always be conscious of God's presence. Here I am. My pastor is not here. My leader is not here. My brethren is not here. But I know God is here. And whatever I'm doing, God is looking at me. They may not see me. For God is seeing me. So be conscious of God's presence. Always set your eyes on that eyes. He sees you at all times. 24-7. Just looking at you. Recording you know, your lifestyle. So be conscious of God's presence. Not by feeling. No, no, no. By faith. I know as I'm here now, God is here with me. And whatever I say, my sister, my brother may not hear it. God hear it. Whatever I think in my heart, nobody may not see it. But God says it. Whatever I write, nobody may not read it. But the Lord read it. Do you understand me? Be conscious of God's presence. When you are always conscious of God's presence, that that was the habit of Jacob of, of Joseph. Said, how, how can I do such a wickedness against God? He was conscious of God's presence. Nobody is at home. Only him and the and the wife and the wife of his master. But he know there is a third personality that was there, and that is God. And that proved to us the incidents that took place in the book of Daniel. The three Hebrews, when they were thrown into fire, who was there with them? Eh? Eh? Jesus Christ. Yes, Christ. Do you understand me? Looking at the fire, nobody is inside the fire. But immediately they land into the fire. Jesus 
stood with them. And God opened the eyes of the king to see. And he said, We throw three people into the fire. But I see four people. But the appearance of the fourth one is the appearance of the sons of God. Shout hallelujah. So that shows us whether we feel or we don't feel. God is always with those that trust in him. And in a place where you feel more secure to commit sin. Know that God is there. Let's go on our feet. We will not look back. We are going to call on the name of the Lord. I will not look back. Joshua, I will not look back by the grace of God. The grace to follow Jesus on the way. Oh, the Lord, the Lord, Jesus, do me. Jesus, my Lord. Oh, Jesus, my Lord. Oh, Jesus, my Lord. Oh, Jesus, my Lord. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. Oh Lord, I will not look back. Oh Lord, many you This is not the time to be washing. This is the time to call upon the Lord. The Lord has spoke to us this evening. He has opened our eyes to His word. Undiluted word. The word of this season. Ah, open your mouth and pray. I will not look back. 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 Oh Lord, I will not look back. I will not look back. This is my resting place. I will not look back. 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 I the circumstances, no matter the challenges, no matter what comes before me, no matter what confronts me, no matter the storms of life, no matter the challenges of life, we keep on following you, keep on, keep on declaring the word, the Lord is ready to help you, I will not look back. 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 In Jesus' name, we are praying. We are going to pray this prayer. Every arrow of backsliding. I want you to pray that prayer very well. Because there are some arrow that has been prepared from the kingdom of darkness. To, to draw back some Christians that have determined not to look back. I pray we will never look back in Jesus' name. I pray the mighty hand of God will uphold us to the very end in the name of Jesus. But we are going to pray this prayer. Every arrow prepare from the pit of air to drag me back to the wall. Oh, yeah, cast fire. Oh, yeah, pin up. Oh, pull them out and pray the name of Jesus. All of from the pit of death. Prepare from the pit from, from the kingdom of darkness. All of from the pit of death. To drag me back into the world. All of from the pit of death. Prepare against me and my family. To drag me back to the world. Cast fire. Cast fire. Cast fire. Cast fire. Cast fire. In Jesus' name, we are free.
Yo, you got a chest like Badrua. The point that was given to us, go quote of the floor, said, count the cost of count the cost of not of not looking back. Only pay nina for you to my You are going to pray. I'm at Badrua. Oh Lord. Oh Lord. The grace and power. All your fiat better to carry my cross and to always follow you day by day. Let it be a bill of my tell you you want to give this upon my life. Oh you are to that little lady. That prayer is very, very important. I do I check that again. When you yeah, that is determination. When you that grace is upon your life. So everybody no matter what comes your way, no matter the challenges, you just want to follow the Lord. Oh Lord, the grace and power. Oh 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 the grace and power. Grace and power. Oh, you have to carry the cross. Let it be a bell. To carry the cross. Let it be a bell for me. Of following you day by day. Release upon my life. 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 I have, I have decided. To follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back. No turning back. No turning back. The world behind me. I ain't never let you me. The cross before me. I will never let you me. The world behind me. I ain't let you me. The cross before me. I will never me. The world behind me. The cross before me. I will never let you me. No turning back. No turning back. The grace always carried my cross. Oh Lord, let me be a bell boy. Not looking back. Let him have no joy. Oh Lord, give me that grace. Grace that I that 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 cross. Oh Lord, let me be a bell boy. Ah. Release upon my life. 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 In Jesus' name, we are free. Yeah, look, I just yeah, about to pray the last prayer. I'm about to pray, okay, and we are using this last um, point that was given to us to pray. Ah, look, I'm okay, I got to pray. Right. Always ask God to guide you in making choice and decision. We pray that my, we shall follow my, to my darua. The Bible says, trust in God, trust in the Lord at all time. Pray, 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 be no ri gbogbo ju mi gbogbo nore we direct your path oh man o ma sabo oh lord oluwa oh lord oluwa always guide me oh lord oluwa ma ma ni gbogbo ju aje mi ma ma to mi sonu always guide me ma to mi sonu in every steps and decision i want to make ni gbogbo epe la ti spirit ba be se in every choice i want to make ni gbogbo epe ba be se oh lord guide me oh lord ma to mi sonu lead me right ma to mi sonu oh lord not a plain the name of jesus Open your mouth and pray that prayer. Oh Lord, in every decision, in every choice, I want to make in life. In every step, I will.